Hey, I'm Matiri, and this is the eighth video. Yeah, eighth video in my sound design tutorial. This one's all about leads, and it sucks. I accidentally deleted the recording that I just did for this video, so I have to do it again. So um, anyway, leads are pretty easy. I guess we'll do three types of leads. We'll do like a, a normal pluck, just a whatever pluck sound, um, like you might hear in my song, um, the Seven's Lion remix, Seven Lions remix of whatever song it was. I don't even remember. Days to Come? Yeah, that one. Uh, we'll do some leads like that, like pluck sounds, and then we'll do um, just a, a nice lead that I did in my song Leave featuring Young Wisdom. So leads, I usually like to keep really simple. I can honestly just take a square wave and if we put a low pass on it, and we lower. It already sounds like a lead. So you can see that Making leads is going to be really easy, at least like my type of leads. Um, you can play around with all the techniques you're going to be seeing, but I usually like to keep them simple. Um, and by simple, I mean basic wave tables, um, which are these first four or five. And for this one, we'll be using a square. And just because uh, the square kind of sounds like hollow it sounds like a wood block almost so i kind of like that feature or the texture of the sound i should say and what i want is that we're going to be making a pluck and what i want is a low pass and right away we're going to put an envelope right here on the default settings and that doesn't sound like much of a pluck but to get the pluck sound if you think about it it's just a short attack so dunk, 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 and you can hear there's no sustain at all, so we can lower the sustain all the way. And we can lower the cutoff so we don't get that buzz at the end, like the hum of the low pat or the low frequencies. But you can hear right now, I mean, that sounds pretty cool. We can lower the decay. But you can hear right now if we just tap a button really quick, it like cuts off the sound halfway through. And to fix that, we just bump the release up on both the amp envelope, which is this one, whoops, the amp envelope and the envelope we're using the, uh, for the low pass. And there we go. And right now we're going to want this sound to be monophonic and legato chiller. Or just always, I should say. And we could put it up, maybe. And that's how it sounded kind of cool. We can put the unison up to like four. I usually, if I'm doing a lead, I keep that kind of low, if not um, at one. If I do put it up, it's usually never above four or five. With leads, it's nice to have them a little wide, and it's also nice to just see what this wavetable position does for your sound. And maybe we could put this up a little bit, but not all the way. And let's see what pitch cutoff does if we put it up to six. 
like point zero six. And what we could do is we could put a reverb and we could also put dimension expander, make it a little bit more wide. And that's a lot of reverb. We could drop it. Density and color. And EQ, we can bump the highs and drop the lows. So that's cool. So that's like really how to make like pluck sound leads. Um, now, if we want like pluck chords, on the other hand, what we could do is we can get um, all oscillators on. And we could just keep this wavetable on, but put this lower one to square. Um, put double click on the middle one, so it's like left, middle, right. And we can put these an octave apart from each other. So the square be negative 12, the square saw one will be zero, and the saw one will be 12. And this is going to really fill out the sound because we have our lows covered, our mids covered, and our highs covered. Okay, so now if we drop the amp envelope on all of these, let's just quickly route them to filter one, two. Now we can play, and we can mix in our lows and our mids and our highs, so. And that's just to make them sound better together. Like if you have them all the way up, there will be no dynamics. Um, probably the lows will sound the loudest if you have them all the way up. And I wanted the highs really to shine out. So like listen with the uh, amps all the way up. Now the highs kind of get lost. So. So that sounds significantly better in my opinion. Um, now let's just do a low pass and we can clunk, just put an envelope right here on the cutoff. And again with the uh, pluck sound. But in this time, or but this time we're gonna turn down the resonance. And again, when we press it, it kind of stops. So we can put the release all the way up, or like up, I mean, on both our um, envelopes, the amp envelope, envelope four, and our cutoff envelope, envelope one in this case. You could play with the decay, and that's gonna give you either a shorter sound, or longer sound. So that sounds pretty cool. And one thing we could do is if we put this up to four. And we put our cutoff. <laughs> oh man, excuse me. If we put our pitch cutoff up, and maybe play with our wavetable. And see, that's already sounding really cool. We can put Dimension Expander. Let's put our EQ highs up lows down. Again, that's usually what most leads. Not sure if I said that this video or last video. 
because I don't even remember anymore. And we could just put a reverb. Wet dry really down because massive's reverb is really weird. Density and color. Makes me wish I knew piano, but I don't. So that's really, that's like a saw pluck that you hear a lot of people use. So that sounds really cool and you can make it sound a lot nicer, I'm sure. Um, and lastly, we're gonna go over a lead that I made in Leave, which is really simple. And it's, it kind of uh, simulates um, like frequency modulation almost. Um, if you don't know frequency modulation, it's a whole nother topic that's really difficult to uh, completely grasp. It's easy to understand, hard to put into practice, in my opinion. Um, so we could take just our saw, filter one, if we're going to even put a filter on it. Let's just put a low pass and put it up. And we could just put an LFO right here in our pitch and bring that up to like 0.4 or 0.5. And it sounds weird right now, it just sounds like a siren. So let's put our X fade curve to the uh, sine wave so it's more smooth rather than like. And we don't want to sync it, but let's see if we put the rate down and we bring it all the way up. So. So that sounds pretty cool, and we could even put a monophonic, we could put our glide time. And it's pretty cool with rate on, because the further we get away, the longer it'll take to glide. And it's cool we have that little legato. Um, macro already put in when we do a new patch or a new sound and let's just control our uh, our cutoff our low pass cutoff and that's a pretty cool sound and here's one way to really make your sound sound really cool we could use a delay, put the dry, wet all the way up, the damp all the way up, and let's put these time left and time right all the way down. And let's put the time right a little bit up. And you heard how that uh, really widens the sound. So that's a really cool technique to get wide sounds that a lot of people do use. If we could put the high shelf up and the low shelf down. And if we wanted to, we could do a reverb. Yeah, so that sounds pretty cool, and you just saw me just kind of experimenting to see what it would sound like if I put phase modulation on. Kind of sounds cool at some parts, but kind of crappy in others. Um, you could actually figure a way to 
make it actually sound really cool. Like, let's say if we maybe put an LFO on this, not um, the LFO 5, because we're already using that. And just put a really low or a really slow uh, modulation on it. And we could set it to not restart. And by unchecking the restart button, that's gonna. I probably said this in one of the tutorials, but that's going to uh, make it so that it's constant. It's always going. So even if we let go of a key, it's still going. It's still oscillating our phase. Um, knob. And with the low uh, or the high ratio, I don't know how to really read it, but like a really slow ratio, a slow LFO, will make it like, it'll be noticeable, but it won't be so harsh when um, you go into it, so it'll gradually get um, phased. So that's really how you make leads. Um, try to think simple. Try to hear how the sound in your head acts. So if it's a real fast attack, then you know you could put a fast attack on your envelope or even a filter. And really, that's about it. So uh, hopefully I was helpful. Um, I guess next time we'll be going over ugh, pads. And we'll be going over uh, bass sounds after that. I guess we'll do a lot of bass because this is a dubstep sound design tutorial. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I love you. Okay, bye.